Hello, it's Nancy today. I can't get out into the woodshed to get some wood. I'm cold, but I have lots of paper, so I'm going to burn up some of this paper and light the wood stove. Want to see? I think fire is pretty to watch. Well, I hope you can see this from here. No way for me to tell what you can see and what you can't see. But, ah, it's nice and warm. piece of cardboard in there. You wouldn't want to bring down a piece of wood, would you? Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to get a piece of wood. is the first fire of the year. That's right, today is September 24th. I remember when I lived in Georgia, or when I first moved to Canada, I thought, oh my gosh, having to light a fire in September, unheard of. How could that be? How would anybody have come to Canada and stayed? Because I was from Georgia. But, the campfire feels nice. And I do prefer not being swelteringly hot and having to be in front of the next machine. When you burn paper, this shiny kind won't burn very well. I think it also puts bad stuff into the air. And you can see some of that was that kind? It makes a blue flame. There's metal in it. What was it that makes blue color? I went to a workshop once about the colors, chemistry and color, or something like that. This would be a good time to have some wood. Hint, hint. Then I'll have to add more paper so when the wood does come. <sighs> Feels good. I left the windows open in the sunroom last night. Should not have done that. Now, if I wash this door, you know the best way to wash this door is vinegar. You take vinegar, and it sh but you have to do it when the door is cold. The door is no longer cold. Also, if you have the right kind of fire going, oops, it should, the fire will clean the door. If you have a, you know, a newer wood stove. Guys, if you shut the door and you don't have enough fire, it'll put the fire out. I thought I already opened that. I like watching fires. When they're contained properly. This is a good thing for turning on your wood stove. So you push that button forward and you pull it and you have a flame. when they run out, you don't really know it ran out until it doesn't work. But if you're out of matches, you know that you're on your last match. You know, with this kind of 
that wood stove. I have to keep this stuff in front of it clear because all the air comes behind here. It goes into that bar. And somehow it circulates all around. Uh, are we good to have wood now? Let there be wood. Cardboard is a good thing. Now when I'm going to put wood in the wood stove, I don't use kindling. I just stuff the whole wood stove with paper and then I bring in the wood. And I'm kind of working backwards today. I didn't have any wood, didn't think I was going to get any because I can't get out of my wheelchair into there to get the wood. This one because now bark catches quickly. And this is probably going to squish it because I don't have enough paper in there. Yeah, I think squishing it is exactly what it's going to do. But if you have lots of paper in there, I put them in front and back and have them sitting up on the edge. These are very heavy pieces of make. The hotter the fire, the quicker the wood will catch. So if you close the door somewhat and let the wind blow at it, it will make it hotter. Which will help the wood to catch. See how you can see the little sparkles there? How many minutes are left on this? Can you see? No. Um, uh, I don't know. It's at 8.30. Look at that, it's catching. Mm -hmm. As long as you have a lot of paper, you don't really need to have all that kindling. See how well that's working? You see that? See all that fire along the bottom of the board there? Ooh, it's got some not as dry as it should have been. It's got some sap coming out of the wood. That would be maple sap. First, maple sap is flammable once it's made into sugar. Anyway, how to make a fire. <laughs> 